Hey there my friends, today I want to address a movie and TV trope that has been bothering me for a long time. Fake out deaths. When a character dies only to magically come back to life later on. It's a tired and overused cliche that has taken away the impact of death scenes and made storytelling predictable. So join me as I dive into why this trope needs to be retired and explore some examples. First and foremost, fake out deaths rob the audience of the emotional weight and meaning behind a character's demise. A death scene should be a huge moment that leaves a lasting impact, but when a character is brought back to life, it diminishes the significance of their sacrifice or farewell. A prime example is Superman's sacrifice in Batman vs Superman, where he dies heroically to defeat Doomsday. Yet in Justice League, he is conveniently resurrected, erasing the gravity of his sacrifice. What's even more frustrating is how filmmakers love to milk these fake deaths for all they're worth. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Only to reveal later that the character is still alive. It's become a tired formula and anyone with half a brain can see it coming. This predictability takes away from the suspense and surprise that makes movies exciting. In fact, it's become a running joke between my girlfriend and I. We can practically predict every fake death scene which just shows how overused and unoriginal this trope has become. I wish writers had the courage to follow through with the character deaths when they make that choice. Imagine the excitement and genuine suspense if your favourite character was in real danger, with no guarantee of miraculous return. Game of Thrones understood the power of this approach, as they fearlessly killed off beloved characters, staying true to the brutal reality of their world. It made the show thrilling and kept audiences on the edge of their seats. Unfortunately, even Game of Thrones eventually succumbed to the temptation of resurrection when the show brought back Jon Snow. But let's not forget that some of the blame for these fake deaths lies behind the scenes. When a character is incredibly popular or has a massive fan following, writers may feel pressure to bring them back to please the audience. Take Brian Griffin's death in Family Guy. It was never intended to be permanent because the writers couldn't risk losing such a beloved character. What the f***? Contractual obligations can also ruin the suspense. If an actor is signed on for multiple movies, it becomes glaringly obvious when a character faces a fake death. It's hard to be surprised when you know the actor is contractually bound to appear in future installments. The only time a studio is forced to stick to a character's death is when the actor dies in real life. Sadly, this is the only situation where a character's demise is truly final. However, with advancements in CGI, we may soon even see deceased actors brought back to life on screen. Let's hope that trend dies out because I think it's just creepy. Now, some franchises do require characters to come back to maintain the story's integrity. Pirates of the Caribbean is a prime example. Captain Jack Sparrow's death and resurrection makes sense because the series simply wouldn't work without him. But even then, they went overboard by bringing back Barbosa from the dead. It's clear that no franchise is without sin when it comes to this trope. Let's not forget the numerous fake deaths in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Nick Fury, Agent Coulson, Bucky Barnes, the list goes on. Avengers Infinity War fell victim to it, killing off a multitude of characters, only to bring them back later. Even Thanos the big bad villain gets his head chopped off, only to return as a younger version through time travel. And let's not even get started on Loki, who has died and came back so many times that it's become comical. Marvel needs to put an end to these fake deaths and give us some more genuine surprises. Of course, there are instances where fake deaths are handled better than others. If the story supports the resurrection and it feels earned, it can work. Harry Potter's death, for example, fits within the logic of the series. Voldemort unintentionally destroyed the Horcrux inside Harry when he used the Killing Curse, leading to his return. Gandalf's death in The Lord of the Rings is also well executed, as his resurrection serves a greater purpose. But the most frustrating cases are when writers kill off a character, only to change their mind later and resort to retcons and convoluted explanations. The Fast and Furious franchise is a perfect example of this, killing off Han only to resurrect him in a later film. It's just plain sloppy writing. In conclusion, Fake Out Deaths has become one of the most overused tropes in movies and TV. They rob death scenes of their impact, make storytelling predictable, and undermine character development. It's time for writers to explore new avenues, create fresh narratives, and know when to let a character rest in peace. We need more originality and surprises 
that generally keep us on the edge of our seats. Let's demand more from entertainment and put an end to this tired trope. In fact, I've written a little silly song I'd like to share with you, so sit back and enjoy. Hollywood, you've got to stop this crap Kill off someone just to bring them back I need you to stop this stupid act It's time to get this shit back on track I'm about to snap cause this trip was getting old, yo It's nothing but a joke and it's making my morale, yo It's all about the money, what about a good story, though? Time to mix it up cause I'm tired of the same show Think we're dumb enough to fall for the same trick You're like an anorexic, acting like you're so thick Try something new, mix it up with a new pick This shit makes me sick Hollywood, you've gotta stop this crap Kill off someone just to bring them back I need you to stop this stupid act It's time to get this shit back on track Thank you for joining me today I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments And don't forget to subscribe Stay critical my friends And that's the end of the show